What's up, TechNumber here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for setting up and using your own Among Us proximity chat mod server, otherwise known as a private crew link server. Among Us is an incredibly popular game, and of course, everyone knows what it is. If you've seen YouTubers and streamers playing it, then you probably heard them talk to one another when they're in the same room as each other. Crewlink is a recent mod for the game that allows you to hear and talk to other players in proximity of you in-game. When you're close to someone, they can hear you and you can hear them. It makes the game a whole lot more fun. While there are public servers, they can go down if there's too many people using the mod. So you can host your own Crewlink server for complete control over everything and better privacy as you know people connecting are only connecting to you instead of to a public server. Better security, better reliability. Let's get started. Before we even get to setting up a private server, everyone that you want to play with and here needs Crewlink installed. They also need it running while playing Among Us for everything to work connected to the same server. Let's get that done. Start by heading across to the Crewlink GitHub page linked in the description below. Simply look for the latest release tag next to Crewlink's version number and then download crewlinksetup.exe right below the entry. Simply click on it to open it after it's done downloading. Crewlink will simply install and then open straight away. If it doesn't, simply use the new Crewlink shortcut on your desktop. Then, when we get into the actual app itself, click the settings icon in the top left and make sure you have the correct microphone and speaker selected. When you're speaking using the correct microphone input, you can see it moving on this bar here and you'll know you have the correct speaker selected either as default or as one of the ones below when you can click test speaker and hear a test noise. Then you can choose whether you want voice activity or push to talk. Then you can define a push to talk key if you have it selected, a deafen shortcut to stop hearing people in a local area. The bottom section is the voice server. This is where we'll enter our server's address when we've got it set up. By default, it should be the default public server. While you can set this up and get it to work using your own computer, port forwarding and managing the server is a lot of work. Using a VPS or virtual private server allows you to quickly start the server and leave it going regardless of whether your personal computer is on or off. Simply head across to your VPS on your Server Pro dashboard. If you don't know how to create a VPS with us, click the I in the top right or the link in the description down below. I've simply created mine and called it TechnoTest. This over here is the server's hostname, technotest.mcpro.io. Click Shell on the left of your Server Pro VPS dashboard and we'll have the ability to type some commands in. These will also be in the description if you get lost. Type docker space run space hyphen d space hyphen p 9736 colon 9736 space automated slash crew link hyphen server colon latest space hyphen hyphen restart space unless hyphen stopped. What exactly does this command do? Well, the command tells Docker to download and start the latest version of Automated's Crewlink server from Docker Hub. Restart unless stopped simply means it'll always restart unless we stop it manually. This includes after VPS restarts. Hyphen D runs the container in the background, so it's running even when we're not in the shell window. Hyphen P refers to the port number. The first 9736 is the external port for players to connect to, and the second is the program's internal port, which is always the same. If we want to run more than one Creeling server on this VPS, we'll change the first port number to be whatever we want. Say 9737. I'll leave it as 9736 and hit enter to start the install. Now the VPS will download, install and start the latest version of the Crewlink server. Don't worry about updates, it keeps itself updated automatically. If you'd like to learn more about Docker, we can simply run docker space hyphen hyphen help or man space docker to get a manual. Of course, you'll have to enter this after the VPS has finished downloading and installing the server. If you've opened up the manual, simply look at the bottom for a tip on how to close it. We can press H for help or Q to quit. Now we're not exactly done here. What we'll need to do next is click the Firewall tab on the left. In here, we'll make sure that the firewall is enabled and then select all UDP traffic under Protocol. Then under Port, we'll enter 9736. This is the default port for the server and the one that should be used. If you're running multiple servers or you chose a different port, make sure to enter that here. Then simply click Add Rule and wait for it to be allowed through the firewall. Now that it's created the firewall rule and people should be able to connect to it, let's make sure that it's actually running. Heading back to the shell section, let's type in Docker PS. 
and hit enter. If you see something like this, then congratulations, your server is running. This command shows all currently running Docker containers, including services created through the Create Service tab and manually deployed Docker containers, just like the one we created for Crewlink. When you restart the VPS, the Crewlink server should automatically restart as well. As long as the VPS is running, the Crewlink server is running as well. Players should be able to connect and use your private Crewlink server. Then head back to your Server Pro dashboard where we'll be getting the hostname once again. This is what we'll enter into the Crewlink settings. If you haven't already, open Crewlink and click the settings icon in the top left. Then scroll down to the very bottom where it says voice server, we'll be entering our hostname. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash followed by the hostname or IP address of your server. So for me, it would be technotest.mcpro.io. Then add a colon 9736, which is the default port for this. And then once again, add a forward slash and we can minimize the settings window. Then simply click open game. Then I'll simply head across to online and I'll create a public lobby. After clicking confirm, you should see that the game is working as you'd expect. And as soon as you're talking, your profile should light up inside of Crewlink. If another player joins the server, whenever they speak, you'll hear them as well. If you'd like to stop your server later on, we can simply stop it with docker space stop followed by the first characters of the container ID on the left-hand side over here. In this case, it would be 9BC. Then we'll add a space hyphen T space 2. This gives it two seconds to close before it forcibly closes it. If we don't include this last bit, it can take a couple of minutes for it to disappear, but because it's not handling any sensitive data, we don't need to wait for it to save things. Typing in docker space PS, you'll see that no Docker container or server is currently running. If for some reason you'd like to uninstall a server in the future and stop it from starting automatically when you start your VPS, you can use the above command to make sure the server is stopped and then we can simply enter docker container ls space hyphen a. This will list all of the installed containers and services. Then all we have to do is type in docker container rm followed by the first few characters of the containers ID once again to remove the container. This should be the same as what we just entered. So in this case, the first few letters of the container ID would be 607 for me. Simply hit enter and the container will be removed. Entering Docker container LSA, you can see it's no longer installed. And of course, Docker PS, it's not running. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you need any further assistance getting your Crewlink server running, check the Crewlink GitHub page for support on the specific service. If you're having issues with your VPS or anything else, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.